I wonder what would happen if you took Apple's software and combined it with a reliable, fast hardware. I think you would get the M1 MacBook Pro. What's up you guys, Jake Corn here, back with another video, and today we are talking about the M1 MacBook Pro. I've already done an unboxing video, but I thought I would do a full review, so uh, this is it. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about 10 things that I think are important to talk about with the M1 MacBook Pro. Okay, so let's jump into the video. Okay, so one of the advantages of having a 13 inch MacBook Pro is it's super light and super portable. And uh, I almost feel like it's gonna slip out of my hand like all the time. Okay, so the second thing I wanna talk about is how good it looks. Like this thing just looks so good. Um, uh, I really love the space gray uh, MacBook Pros. They just look so good. Obviously that doesn't really matter. I mean, it does matter because you are going to be sitting down and it needs to be inspiring. Okay, so the third thing is the Touch ID. Um, it is one of my favorite features of this um, new M1 MacBook Pro. I don't think it comes with the uh, M1 MacBook Air but it is so nice. I really hate like just trying to put in my password and I just want to get in and start editing. And um, But this is just so nice. You just put your finger down and it automatic, like it literally takes a second and it will recognize it. The fourth thing is with this new um, lineup of M1 computers, Apple have released a new software, um, the Big Sur software. It looks and feels so much better than the previous software. Everything has changed just a little bit, so you can you still know how to operate it, but like it's still recognizable, and you could still know that this is an Apple computer, and you would still know how to use it if you're coming from an old Apple computer. The fifth thing, and one of the most awesome things about this computer, is the battery life. The battery life is insane. I would say it's probably around like 16 to 18 hours, depending what you're doing. And if you have multiple windows open and how bright your screen is, and just all those factors. One disadvantage of having a small laptop is you get a small screen. So yes, I am going to purchase an external monitor for this laptop. It's unfortunate, but I'd rather have the small size and lightweight uh, with the screen being a little bit small than have a big screen and heavy and just bulky. I I'd way rather prefer uh, the smaller laptop. So number seven is the camera. The camera actually seems a lot better than previous models. You can definitely still know it's a webcam, but it just, it, it just seems better. The camera seems to over sharpen it quite a bit, but it's definitely better and it's, it's pretty good. Especially if you have good lighting, then you should be fine and you should be getting pretty good quality out of it. Now another improvement that goes with the camera is the internal mic and speakers. And wow, is there an improvement. I've been editing only off of the speakers and the speakers are just so good. And the mic, the mic is actually pretty decent. It's not perfect, but you could definitely get away with it. Obviously you couldn't use it for a bigger production, but you could easily get away with it for any Zoom call or FaceTime call. So one thing that is very important is the speed of this laptop. How good is it in Premiere Pro? After Effects. So I don't use Final Cut. I was so surprised on how good it was with Premiere Pro. At this time of recording this video, Premiere Pro isn't even optimized for the M1. I can edit 4K footage at full resolution, fine, no problem. With effects and color grade, there's no issues. It's it's incredible. Now our last category is After Effects. And I was also surprised on how good it handled After Effects. Um, I was just doing some simple masking um, yesterday and 
I could play it back in full resolution. I didn't have any problems. And After Effects is a very, very big software that requires fast hardware to be able to edit properly. So to wrap up this video, I just wanted to give my final thoughts. This laptop is incredible. It will be my main editing machine and it is just a beast and I can't wait till Premiere Pro is optimized for the M1 chip. It'll probably be able to handle like crazy 8K footage, but uh, I'm really excited about this MacBook and I am going to get editing this video because uh, it's so much more fun with a fast computer. All right, bye for now. JK out. Oh, that was the worst outro ever. Oh, what should I do? Um... Ooh.